This video is brought to you by Audi. Mario, the Yakuza, and Tree Bark. What do these have in common? As strange as it might sound, each one of these was vital to Nintendo's success. A month from now, Nintendo will be releasing Labo, a new build-it-yourself peripheral for the Switch. Critics and fans alike have been confused by Nintendo's choice to create children's cardboard toys, but if you look back at how Nintendo started, it seems like they're getting back to their roots. Nintendo began in Kyoto back in 1889, over 100 years before the release of the SNES. The company got its start with playing cards called Hanafuda, or flower cards. Originally hand-painted on mulberry tree bark, the cards got so popular the company had to hire assistants to mass-produce the decks. They started making just about every type of playing card imaginable, from children's Disney cards to slightly more adult themes. Their card business was extremely successful, thanks to one of their largest customers, the Yakuza. They used Hanafuda in their casinos, and Nintendo became one of their biggest suppliers. This was especially profitable for Nintendo, since every new game of cards required a new deck. It wasn't until 1963 that Nintendo started branching out from cards, and changed their name to reflect that. And what did they do after branching out? They didn't hop straight into gaming. In fact, they did just about everything else. They were a taxi company, a food company, a love hotel chain, which is a pay-by-the-hour hotel meant for intimate visits, and finally, a toy and gaming company. The very first toy Nintendo made came from Gunpei Yokoi, who was originally hired to manage the manufacturing line. Hiroshi Yamauchi, Nintendo's president at the time, saw Yokoi playing with an extending arm toy that he had made in his spare time, and thus, the Ultra Hand was born. Yokoi later went on to create the Ultra Machine, a remote-controlled vacuum, and the Love Tester. Nintendo kept innovating, developing light gun games for arcades, and it took the leap into video games in the mid-1970s with the color TV game 15. And Yokoi, the man who created those strange toys, he helped make the Game & Watch, supervised Shigeru Miyamoto's Donkey Kong, and led the development of the Game Boy. The vast majority of Nintendo's most notable achievements happened 90 years after the company was founded. But that doesn't mean they've stopped making cards. You can still purchase Nintendo Hanafuda online, and they still hold a contact bridge tournament called the Nintendo Cup. So if you ever think Nintendo has gone off the deep end with one of their weird new toys, just be thankful it isn't a love hotel. And before you write off Labo for being glorified cardboard, remember that Nintendo's success started with hand-painted tree bark. Special thanks to our sponsor Audi and the reimagined Q5.